Welcome back to Judo Breakdown, zero source for judo commentary on the internet. And what I have for you today is a match from the Grand Slam in Tokyo, Japan, 2022, in the men's under-81 division. In white, in white, we have Soman Mahmad Bekov from Tajikistan, and in blue, we have Kenya Kohara from Japan. They're just uh, getting on the mats out. Let's join them in action. Oh, Soman's got pretty sizable height advantage. <coughs> you wonder <coughs> what he's going to be uh, going for. Oh, okay. The uh, Osoro Gary there. The left side Osoro, we see him uh, use that a bit earlier in this tournament to some success. So we know that that's what he has in there. So Mon, I, I'm not that familiar with, so we'll see. The classic, okay. So left side, Uchi. Personally, I'd like to see uh, his hip be a little bit uh, closer to Kenya's, and that would allow the, the leg to really pull uh, Kenya's out of position. There it is again, that that left Osoto. This time did he score Wazari? And okay, he might get the hold down. Osaikomi is called. We've seen him uh, do very well with uh, Newaza. Yeah, okay, very good. It's sort of a, a broken Kasagatame. Okay, now switching. There we go, very good. So Wazari, Wasate, boom. So two Wazaris. Make the phone come on off the the left uh, Osoto Gary, which he had shown a little bit earlier, and there was definitely gas in that tank. And uh, transitioning into a hold down. Uh, congratulations to Kenya on that. I mean, heck, that's that's a lesson. I mean, I think like that's the beauty of judo right there is that like you just got to be able to deal with like the throwing. We we all practice a lot, but you know. Um, the comfort level on the ground, a lot of players are not that comfortable. And so it's a real missed opportunity. Like, look at the quality of the hold down that just happened there. That wasn't that tight or great, but it's enough, right? Yeah. He controlled Solomon just enough for, uh, control and for time as to get the Ipon. So, what else can you ask? You know, if you're not that comfortable with it, was a, it's you're not going to be able to get those like little extras, right? Like so, and most throws fail. Like most throws in a match won't won't get you to Ipon, right? Or even a Wazari. So there's lots of opportunity, and I think Roddy Ferguson had this where it's like, on a failed throw, you know, you can get some points off of uh, the Nawaza, right? So, um. Kenya so far in this tournament has uh, has been doing very well in terms of both Newaza and uh, standing. I'd like to see like a really big Epon, but hey, I take I also like seeing uh, hold downs and arm bars and all of that as well. So those are just my thoughts. If you have your own, please leave a comment. If you enjoyed this video, hit like, subscribe, and until next match, have a great night.